so hello everyone and welcome back this is the echoes unlimited youtube channel not doing a podcast today uh today i just wanted to cover my experience watching the syracuse football spring game uh there's sean tucker uh, the all-american running back for the syracuse orange for those of you who don't know i am a huge college football fan love everything about college football i grew up watching a lot of it on tv back in the day um i grew up going to syracuse football games had a lot of fun doing that and i'd like to cover more college football on this channel had the opportunity to go to this game let's see what other games i'll be able to go to in the future but overall had a great time uh watching syracuse play Watch them gear up uh, for a great season. I'm super optimistic. I love Dino Babers. I like the foundation that they have in terms of offensive players. I think that the offensive line obviously needs improvement. They got playmakers on defense, Deuce Chestnut. Uh, the, he's gonna be a sophomore, number zero. And yeah, I'm super excited uh, to see what they have to offer. So here's a few things that I was able to take away from the game just keep in mind a disclaimer i do not follow syracuse football very closely i probably follow other teams and other uh sports you know more closely at syracuse and wish i i wish i was able to tell you more about you know different guys like freshmen coming in and whatnot um but justin lampson started the game got to see him go against the second team defense which was it was cool to see how he stacked up against them he ended up going seven for ten with 151 yards the syracuse quarterback situation is an interesting situation i like garrett schrader i think he did fine in the time that he got last year when he finally became the starter i think that they have good quarterbacks on the roster with jacobin morgan you'll see a play that he made and obviously lamson he he did pretty well as well and we can't forget about Dan Valari, the transfer from Michigan. And we all know how dominant Michigan was this year. If he was on that roster, there goes Schrader right there, number six, Lamson 10, and Jacobin Morgan, number 15. So my biggest thing that I didn't like uh, watching this game was the fact that there were no live kickoffs. There was no live anything when it came to kicking. Uh, teams couldn't rush. They couldn't block. Uh, there's Eric Dungy who was the standout quarterback from about three, four years ago. But, you know, look at this play. I was able to catch Dungy, and I was able to catch that incredible catch. But shout out to the Carrier Dome people who did the remodeling of the dome. It's so much better now. It lo the Just look at the lights. Look at the screens are much clearer. The thing up top in the middle didn't have that before. It used to just be an American flag. That's really cool. It just is much more appealing place you know once they get some new seats in the dome once they get a little bit more in terms of what they can offer fans i think it's going to be one of the best places to play in college football one of the best home field advantages uh, especially being in the northeast region being able to come and play inside an indoor facility and here's jacobin morgan right here little reverse play throw back to him didn't catch it cleanly but he got he made the play got the first down that's all that matters at the end of the day and here is Alford right here the wide receiver that I thought was the most impressive out of all of them uh, that I saw number 82 uh, I think he's he's gonna be really good I, I th believe he's a sophomore but I remember watching him in warm-ups and and seeing him but look at this like not gonna let anyone block anyone rush like not you don't have to do heavy contact on that play but i mean just at least get a good a view of it but yeah here's sean tucker i think he's he's probably one of the best he's probably the best syracuse player i've seen in uh my lifetime i know old-fashioned syracuse fans are gonna say guys like donovan McNabb, ernie davis jim brown floyd little but I wasn't around for any of those guys. So, you know, my guy is probably, right now, best running back I've seen is probably Delone Carter back in 2010, 2012, I believe, somewhere around there. 
and the best quarterback is probably either Ryan Nassib or Eric Dungy uh, that I've seen. But I think Sean Tucker has the chance to be, you know, be one of those guys that can go down in Syracuse history as possibly the greatest player in Syracuse history. And overall, I had a great time watching him. Uh, here's Lampson again. I forgot what happens on this play. Let's see. Little motion, toss. Oh, yeah, I was expecting them to score a touchdown, but no. And, you know, watch this guy. Watch this guy. Boom. Hops right in front of the camera while I'm trying to get a good shot of the guys coming off the field. But it is what it is. Shout out to that guy. He had that cool little flannel thing going with the Syracuse logo on it. And there's Don McPherson, another former Syracuse quarterback. It's cool to see how Syracuse tradition maybe in the past few years has not been that great but I can definitely see things things looking up for the program and things looking up for its fans I know we've been craving a winning season for such a long time not only a winning season but just multiple winning seasons and I think they will get there but other than that thanks for watching